right, Steffi. So, I'm tired of this thing not flexing very much. And, you know, we give it hell when we're out on the trail. But without lockers, every time it lifts the tire, we lose momentum. So here's what I'm thinking. Well, the sway bar is a big deal. Now I have a set of sway bar disconnects. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on. Um, but before we do that, I wanna go out here to the wash and just kinda get a little before and after. I tell you, I can't find good help around here and he's always getting after me that I'm on the YouTube watching something or I'm always here to help. You just gotta ask, but then give me about 10 more minutes because I mess around. So we've got this little hill here coming out of the wash and there's some ruts in it, makes it a little mogul-y. And it'll kind of give us a good benchmark of how well this thing's doing with the open diffs and, you know, limited flex. So I'm at street pressure. I don't have, I'm not aired down or anything. So we're just gonna see how it does. And then we're gonna check it out afterward and see if there's an improvement. So I'm just going about normal speed. All right, so broke traction there. Still breaking traction. Bring back up a little bit. Get a little bit better line right here. Alright, so it keeps lifting that front and rear tire. Alright, so now I know just from coming up and down this a bunch of times that if I straddle this it'll go back it'll go easier so see like that but I was intentionally driving up through that ditch just to get it to break traction and see if it does any better after we disc it all right so that was just sort of a benchmark of coming up through those moguls and it struggled and it's on purpose because oh, I better put it in two wheel drive. It was on purpose. I on purpose, you know, guy uh, steered it into the deepest holes because I wanted to get a, you know, I could, you know, as you could see, I, I was able to straddle the hole and get up it fairly easy. But the point was, I wanted to see how it would do if it couldn't reach the bottom of those holes with the tires, and that's. That's the sway bar that's keeping it from being able to do that. Papa top again. <laughs> mm. Working in the shop is thirsty work. Cheers. Okay, so here's what I have for a sway bar disconnect system. Let me see it. Yeah, let me see it there. So, Steffi, to answer your question, on so what these are is these are brackets and a little disconnect that replaces the sway bar. Grab the camera and I'll show you what we're talking about. All right. So this is this is the sway bar. Okay, can you can we see? This is the sway bar. It goes all the way across, and it has a link on either side. See this link? Might be a little backlight there. It might be hard to see from the door. Um, and this is a solid bar, and that's what keeps one side from flexing as much as the other side, because in order for it to flex, since there's a solid uh, connection here 
when one tire goes up and the other one goes down, this bar, turn over this way, this bar has to actually twist All in right. order to uh, let one go up and one go down. It that's twists in these bushings right here? That's how a sway bar works. Oh, so okay. um, with these, these replace that link right there. Right. So um, this is just a solid link. Of course, you can just unbolt them. But you put this on, then you're able to just easily pull this pin. And then you can undo it. And then while you're four wheeling, just uh, strap that up out of the way. It effectively gives you a sway bar right disconnect. Here. So it's not going to come all up because it's still attached to the car. So yeah. Okay. Oh, oh so no, this... it's not attached to the car anymore. It's completely off. And you took the little riser thing up there too. Yeah. So that's the sway bar. And I'll tell you what, Steph, looking at those things, looking at this sway bar, I don't think we need them. I, what? So we're just going to take the sway bar off completely? The more I think about it, I think that might be all the sway bar disconnect we need. All right, we're going to. Freeze! Who are you? I'm the internet police, and you're violating the warranty on this Bronco. It's my Bronco. I can do what I want. You can tell it to the judge. Let me see your license and registration. Uh, yeah. Okay, can I set this down? Let me... I got it right here. Don't, don't shoot me. Got it right here. Ooh. that <laughs> all right so <laughs> let's go see what this thing will do now with it's the sway bar deleted. sway bar disconnect that's a sway bar deleted yeah. oh i meant to go oh take, there's a rattle back there i meant to take care of that rattle the hell is that yeah, what is it let's take care of it right now that's some bullshit my seatbelt. All right. Oh, much better. No more rattle. So, anyways, we're gonna go test this thing out. See how it does over at the wash. See if we get a little bit more travel out of it. But before we do that, you gotta get me go down to my dealer and get me a Starbucks. We gotta go see Steffi's dealer. <laughs> so, um, bear with us. We'll be on the trail here in just a second. You notice how my behavior, I perked up because we're here. I can smell the coffee. It's infusing into my brain right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, come to mama right here. Mmm. Mm. Thank you, sir. Oh my goodness. All right. So, just coming down this thing, I can already tell it's loosened up quite a bit. Um, there's a little bit of ruts here, not too bad. It's a little worse up here where we turn to the right to come up out of this. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do it the same way I did with the sway bar on. So I'm in, I'm in four low. 
limb crawl gear. I'm just going to kind of let it crawl. Just give it enough throttle if it needs to, if it lifts a tire or something. Uh, wow, it lifted a tire there last time. It's just crawl it just twisted right through there pretty good. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. So pretty impressed so far. Okay, so what did we learn today? One of the things we learned is it's hard making a video in reverse. So we have a confession to make. Um, we've actually had the sway bar off of this thing for like a month or two. And um, I did put it, for the video, I put it back on briefly. And we did run out there and we ran it with the sway bar on and with it off as you saw. But we weren't surprised with the results because I've been driving this thing for, gosh, a couple months, I think, At with the sway bar off. Months, yeah. um, <clears throat> it sort of happened like we depicted in the video. I was going to put the disconnects on and I couldn't come up with a good reason why to do it rather than just taking the sway bar all the way off and seeing how it went. And as you can see, I kept it just in case, you know, I needed to put it back on. But, um, I will tell you that as a daily driver, and I drive this thing to work every day, and I've probably put maybe 5,000 miles on it since I took the sway bar off, no problems at all. There's no, I mean, yes, there's a tiny bit amount of extra body roll when you're hauling ass in the corners, but off-road, I mean, we haul ass off-road, dirt roads, everything, it, it just works like a champ and i think it actually works better in that high speed off-road stuff now um especially in the whoops yeah it's, yeah yeah so and then um we've taken it high speed for a couple trails rock crawling it's night and day i totally i yeah. think it probably is true that it only gets maybe an inch extra of flex maybe two but i think it's that's just enough and it makes a world of difference. It does. It, it's it amazing. Does. So we found, in, you know, we like we showed out in the wash today. We found in the real world that it it's even more dramatic than that. Um, trails that you, that I really would have had to struggle with before, just walks right through them now. And I've been up some of the same trails we did before. So um, I tell you, it's. I really, especially if you've got a two door, you know, and you're not carrying a bunch of extra weight, you're not carrying a rooftop tent, you don't have a big heavy winch and bumper and all that stuff, there's really no need for the sway bar. Um, and I am now a big proponent of the best sway bar disconnect is taking the whole damn thing off and just chunking it in the trash. So that's my finding. Does Most. that void our warranty? <laughs> Well, we'll Probably see. Probably so, but you know, we're not uh, going fast when we're out on the rocks. I mean, the, the whole warranty thing, I'm not really going to get into it. Um, you know, if you're using the Bronco the way that you're, the way I intend Broncos to be using, 
everything you do is technically void in the warranty. And it comes down to, if you do have a warranty claim, it comes down to, you know, the dealer, right? A dealer can be an, an asshole about the warranty or they can be cool about it. Um, and I've, I've had both kinds of dealers. I've had, you know, when I had my Jeep Rubicon, I had some stuff replaced under warranty that had, was completely my fault from the mods I'd done. But, you right. know, it was a sympathetic dealer here in Southern California where everybody takes these things and modifies them. And it wasn't something new to them. So um, I hope and that- they the, still covered it too. Yeah, I hope the Ford dealer will be the same if I need anything warranty. Taking this off, I'm not sure what all it would affect. Uh, say if you wanted a CV axle replaced, something like that, they might, you know, cite that as something. But you know what, if you keep it handy like I did, you can always bolt it back on if you have to, you know. Yeah. Um, Got to watch out for those uh, warranty cops, though, the internet police, though. So they might uh, frown upon me even saying this publicly that you could put it back together before you go take it to the dealer. I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for this video, guys. We hope you had fun. We had a lot of fun making it. We did. And um, we will see you in the next... Oh, please like and subscribe right and thanks for following along with us uh, we hope this was educational for you and fun as it was really fun for us to make um, but it was eye-opening to us uh, when we tested both putting the sway bar back on and then you know taking it off uh, there, there's such a noticeable difference there that that uh, I mean hands down it just just uh, performs so much better so yeah and I'm like I said earlier, if you have a, a you know, a, a, a Badlands or Sasquatch and you've got lockers front and rear, this probably isn't a big deal to you. No. Actually, with Badlands, you have the electronic dis disconnect. But, right. Um, because these things, when they, if you have, if you have lockers and all four tires are turning, when you lift a tire, it's no big deal. It just keeps going. Um, but with, if you're open, open like this one, this is the best, I believe, probably the best performance mod you can make other than putting bigger tires on it. So, um, Either way, you're still in, uh, with your lockers on and you're spinning the tire, you're still in three-wheel drive, even though you're technically in four-wheel drive. Until that fourth tire connects, um, will you actually be in four-wheel drive? But, you know, here we've been in three-wheel drive for so long with the, the sway bar on um, now taking it off, it, it just lessens that uh, ability for it to be spinning. And so, you know, dropping it down a couple inches, it really makes a big difference. So I, I'm all for it. All right. If you followed that, you're better than I am. <laughs> we will. This is the way. <laughs> we, we, we will see you guys in the next video. And... We hope you are doing well. Hope you're having fun in your Broncos and uh, signing off. Again, thanks for following along. Peace. Bye-bye. Turn to the layup. Your other layup. Hey, you ain't half bad looking. What's your name? My name's Ed. Ed? What kind of name is Ed for a woman? Short for Edwina. Turn to the right. Edwina, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, don't touch my truck. Hey, this has been involved in a warranty violation and I'm gonna take it and confiscate it. But it's my truck. Just tell it to the judge. You're gonna hear it from us. It's mine now. I got your badge number. Yeah, well, eat this. You got your phone number too. Eat that too. Don't even know how to drive it. <laughs>